You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. You are rocking with the hottest. Put your hands up for the boss. The Mix Master is live. Get ready. You're listening to the boss of the big boy, JP the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grease. Waking you up early in the morning with a little bit of grease because the Raiders are out in Miami. JP the Ticket back at you live. Vegas Scoreboard Express 107.1 FM. Want to give a shout out to all the people out in Vegas that put up with the F1. Boys got it done last night. Now we're back talking about some football. Got him on the line with me also. My main man from Florida. Scotty, beam him up web. East Coast Sports Investors, MLBDaily.com. Good morning, Scotty. Beam him up web. How you doing, brother? Hey, good morning, JB. Good to be back. Good to have you back. So glad to have you back. You guys are in tune for a treat today. Yesterday, we absolutely crushed the book. Went six and one yesterday, six and one across the board. Every single pick we gave you, with the exception of one total, put cash in your pocket. And of course, the man that told you yesterday to take a minus 46 for Alabama, my main man, Ron Third Town, best bets, VSX Digital Sports Network co host out in LA. Good morning, Ron. How you doing? Good morning, brother. How you doing today? I'm doing great, man. You told him to take a minus 46 and cashed it. You guys need to follow him over on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. Follow me on Instagram at JBTheTicket. And follow Scotty over on The Bird at Webby20MLB. So you guys keep it locked here on the line with me when I get back from this short commercial break. We're going to jump into it. A little bit of college football recap and in the NFL picks for the day. Got a special guest coming up, Ronnie B., VSX Digital Sports Contributor and JBTheTicket.com main handicapper is going to be here with you to break down some more NFL picks. He put cash in your pocket yesterday, told you to take those Wyoming Cowboys. Let's see what he tells you this morning. So, big day. Shout out everybody listening around the world. KSHP.com, iHeartRadio. You name it, we're there. Tune in. All the people getting ready to have a great Thanksgiving Day weekend. More football coming up. You gotta love it. We'll be having some specials come out for you, so you guys keep it locked here. 107.1 FM and AM 1400. JB the Ticket is giving you grease. Let's get the money. No one left to stand you're listening to the boss of the big ball. JB the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grease. Skip your cable bill this month and join the action with JB and Fubo TV. Get seven days free, 15% off your first month. No credit check, no deposit, no installation hassle. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. Sign up, download the app, and start watching games. Enjoy being a subscriber after the first month. Easy cancellation anytime. Regional restrictions apply. Sign up at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Jumpers Jungle Family Fun Center is an indoor children's jump and party space in Las Vegas located at 2050 South Rainbow Boulevard. Kids of all ages can come and jump on our bouncers, race through the obstacle courses, speed down the mega slides, slam dunk into the basketball hoops, and much more. Are you looking for that perfect birthday party venue? Look no further. Jumpers Jungle has a party package that will fit your needs. Check out the open play schedule online at jumpersjungle.com or call 702-463-JUMP. It's time to jump your way to fun at Jumpers Jungle on the corner of Oki and Rainbow. Keep it locked with your boy on the ones and twos. Going in on the wheels of steel. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. Outside, no man is safe from Scoreboard That's how I'm living That's how we do it That's just the way it is Give That's it the reason why I came to you Drink And women And money 
Back at you live, JP, the ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express, 107.1 FM, AM 1400 here in Las Vegas, around the world on TuneIn, KSHP.com, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, you name it, we are there. Got my main men on the line with me, Scotty, beam him up web from the East Coast Sports Investors, NMLBDaily.com, and of course, Ron Third Down Best Bets, digital co-host. For VSX Digital Sports Network. Good morning, guys. So glad to have you back here with me this morning on VSX. Got to wake him up early yesterday. Gave him a lot of good college football picks. Again, went six and one. Shout out John Bryan, Predictive Sports Betting Playbook and RotoWire.com. So just to start off with you, Ron, third down best bets. Some of the things that you saw yesterday in the college football, if you take a look at some of the spreads that were covered, some of the spreads that didn't get covered. I mentioned to you about Washington yesterday, my dog of the day. I told you, how could you not go with the Washington Huskies? For all you guys out there that bet on Oregon State, woke you up, didn't you? Okay, and I told you that USC, again, flagship here at KSHP, but they weren't able to get it done either. Stanford wasn't able to get it done. So the cream of the crop yesterday, we also gave out Oregon, told you to take Oregon, told you they would run it up themselves, get the over. Don't waste time. You got to tune in every Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Follow me on Instagram. I do talk back to people. Okay, just don't jump in my DMs with anything crazy. But let's talk about it. Ron, third down, best bets. When you saw what happened yesterday in college football, things have shifted. We saw teams that, were supposed to win, do what they were supposed to do. And then there were a couple of teams that didn't do that. But the teams that we liked, Oregon, Alabama, and Washington, do we see them pulling away now? And do we see a different top four, top five next week in the, when the rankings come out? Go ahead. Well, I'd like to see if Alabama gets some respect now because ever since they lost to Texas, they were the world lost by the nation. Nobody talks about them. Nobody says anything. And, and Nick Saban basically just got peed off and kept his team focused. And they've been—they're tough, man. They're a juggernaut right now. I wouldn't want to play Alabama. Right. And them against, them against Georgia is going to be a hell of a game. Yes, it is. Yes, or, it is. Or Oregon looks really good. They're cruising. Washington, they look good. They still scare me, though, with that defense. They got that one goal weakness, that defense. They ran across a good team in the Final Four. I, I don't like their chances because of that defense. Yeah, the, the defense was, was a little shy. Offense can score on anybody, but it was a little shy. Is, go ahead, go ahead. It, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. But yeah, there, there are three really good teams here that are getting better at the right time. That's what I'm talking about. Scotty, beep him up, Web. MLBDaily.com, East Coast Wars Investors, back from your sabbatical. Let's talk a little bit about those Georgia Bulldogs. Again, they pulled off what exactly I said would happen yesterday. It wasn't 30-3, to but it was 30-10. to All over Tennessee yesterday on the road. Again, all road to the national championship goes through Athens. When you see what the Georgia Bulldogs are continually able to do under Kirby Smart, National Coach of the Year. No one's really talking about Georgia either. A lot of the hype was in the Pac-12. One of the teams hasn't done as well as we thought they would. We're not going to get into that. We broke that down yesterday as well. But when you talk about the SEC, the cream of the crop of the SEC, Georgia and Alabama, in your opinion, Scotty, do you still think that the college football championship has to go through one or the other of those two schools? Go ahead. Well, Georgia hasn't lost in like two years, right? I mean, they're they're twenty eight straight wins. So, so I I think that you have to make that statement that says that everything has to go through Georgia before anything else happens, right? Because they've proved for two years in a row they're the best football team, and and so far again this year, like you know, everybody thought you know they they graduated quarterback and and you know Carson Beck comes in, but he was twenty four of thirty for three hundred yards yesterday, three touchdowns against a, a, a decent Tennessee football team, so. They, they dominated that game, and I, I think that if you really look at it and go, well, it doesn't go through Georgia, then I don't know what you were talking about because it has to be that way. Right. I'm telling you, I agree with you wholeheartedly. College football, the top five. We saw Michigan struggle with Maryland yesterday. I told you the dark horse is coming. We gave out Louisville yesterday, money line. They were able to cover the spread. I told you that the book... We're trying to trap betters, and a lot of betters fall for it every single week, but we know where the grease is. Louisville beating Miami on the road 38-31. to 31. Now, we know it's an ACC team, but Louisville at 10-1, and 1, they may not 
get up high enough in the rankings, if you will, to play in the national championship playoff, if you will, even though the ACC this season has been relatively tough. Give them some credit where credit is due. But Louisville at 10-1, and one, are they better than some of these two, three-loss teams that we see coming up in the rankings in the past couple of weeks? We saw Oklahoma again, another two-loss team, struggle with BYU. That was a three-touchdown spread that barely got into the single-digits touchdown spread. So talking about that, throw that one at you, Ron, third down, best bets. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's it's everybody is coming around now at this time of year. I mean, the teams that are supposed to win are winning, like you said. I mean, you're, you're not going to see many upsets at this point now. I mean, the cream of the crop is rising. And nobody's talking about Clemson in the AMC, by the way. Clemson, look at what Dabo's done the last two weeks. That's pretty impressive. They hammered North Carolina yesterday. That's a pretty good game. Yeah, it was a pretty good game. I mean, but Clemson, like I said before, they, you know, they're unranked. They're unranked. They're unranked. Go ahead. He's building, he's building for next year. This is what he had to do. Right. He answered all, all the all the people that said, hey, where's Dabo going? Is he leaving? They buckled down and won, and he's staying put, and then they're recruiting for next year already. So. I think they're going to be bowl eligible as well. Let's talk about another dog of the year, Ron Third Down Best Bets. You gave them a lot of grease. I never put them on my betting board in the Pac-12, but Arizona, they put a hurting on Utah yesterday. I'm telling you right now, these guys at home, 42-18, to 18, they moved up into the top 25. They're number 17 now. The Pac-12 dominated the top 25 this season. That was a resume year, I told you. So those teams that are leaving the Pac-12 now, again, in the NIL era, I don't know if it'll bode well for them, but talking about these Arizona Wildcats at 8-3, and three, are they deserving of a good quality bowl? They'll probably end up maybe if, you know, I mean, the Pac-12 championship here in Vegas, Las Vegas Bowl, not going to get too much in that. But if they could maybe dog their way to win that somehow, I mean, beating Utah is strong, USC – has fallen off the face of the earth. And the biggest team now that you have to look for in the Pac-12, as we know, are Oregon and Washington. Can Arizona be that third team that might play spoiler? I'll throw this one over at you, Ron, third down, because you've been following them all season long. And then, Jeff, I'll let you jump in on that. I mean, not Jeff. Scotty, beam him up. Web. Jeff Dawson, he's supposed to be here today. I hit him up this morning. I don't know. Maybe he'll get back to me. But, again, shout him out, CEO, East Coast Sports Investors. He was on last week. But go ahead, Ron. Uh, absolutely. Arizona is a really good football team. Nobody talks about them because they don't have a lot of big names, don't have a lot of blowing stats. USC had to go to overtime. Caleb Williams had to play awesome to beat them. And people forget Washington only beat them by seven. And they, they gave Washington all they could handle. So Arizona is a really good team that nobody talks about. Yes, yes they deserve a very good bowl. Deserving a good bowl. Scotty, beam him up, Webb. Talking about what you've seen in the Pac-12 this year, do you think that it was smart for them to break up that conference, or are they going to be able to attract some other schools maybe on the cusp? Shout out my UNLV Rebels. I gave that out yesterday. Put cash in your pocket. Went out to Air Force and handled it. Maybe UNLV under head coach Barry Odom could be ready to take the next step maybe out of the Mountain West into the Pac-12. Interesting concept, and I know the AD is probably listening. Shout out everybody over at UNLV. What do you think, Scotty? Go ahead. Well, the Pac-12 is uh, not even going to be resembling of what it used to be. I mean, they've only got, I think, uh, what is it, uh, um, Washington State and um, somebody else is still part of the Pac-12 or the Pac-2 now. So they're going to be inviting all the teams that play, you know, in the in the WAC conference, Western Athletic Conference over there. And then, you know, to really call it a Power Five conference after that, I'm not sure is really legitimate. So, so would they break apart like they are that, you know, everybody went and found their way and found a way to stay in the Power Five conferences, which is what the schools needed to do. So I'm not sure where that leads to Pac-12 at this point. Well, Pac-12 might have to break it all the way up again. Scotty beam him up web East Coast Sports Investors MLB daily.com follow him on the bird at webby 20 MLB when I get back from the short commercial break we're bringing him on Ronnie B Las Vegas chief handicapper at JB the ticket.com quick shout out for both of you guys and of course my co-host Ron third down best bets we'll start off with you go ahead I got to give one to our super fan Kayla I haven't given her one for a while thanks for listening to the show and being a big supporter Thank you so much for that as well. And Scotty, beam him up, Webb. Welcome back from your sabbatical. Good to see that you're healthy and feeling good. It's excellent. Go ahead. 
<laughs> yeah, well, shout out to uh, all my doctors and stuff that uh, did the, the plumbing work in my heart that was necessary, and here I am, so it's all good. There you go. Shout out those docs. Appreciate you keeping VSX locked and loaded. And I want to shout out all you listeners here locally in Las Vegas and around the world. Keep it locked here, 107.1 FM, AM 1400. And, of course, go to my website, jbtheticket.com. Pick up one of those weekend pick packages, people. I have picks for every single game. We have several handicappers here. This is all they do full-time. And I bring you the grease each and every weekend here, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. So you guys keep it locked with me here. I'll be back after this short commercial break. Ronnie B. Las Vegas is going to be in the building. You know what that means. We're about to start getting money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball, J.P. the Ticket. Vegas scoreboarding, Brad. Giving you that grease. <laughs> Kick off the football season with Drizzly.com. Score big with your favorite drinks delivered right to your doorstep. From ice cold brews to game day cocktails, we've got the perfect lineup for your football gatherings. Visit VegasScoreboardExpress.com and click the Drizzly. Now let's get the party started. Drink responsibly must be of legal drinking age. Delivery and availability may vary. Basketball season is heating up, so stay in the game with Fubo TV. Get the NBA, NCAA, FIBA, and more. Get seven days free at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Kick off the football season with Drizzly.com. Score big with your favorite drinks delivered right to your doorstep. From ice cold brews to game day cocktails, we've got the perfect lineup for your football gatherings. Visit VegasScoreboardExpress.com and click the Drizzly. Now let's get the party started. Drink responsibly must be of legal drinking age. Delivery and availability may vary. into the BSX Digital Sports Network. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. You are rocking with the hottest. Put your hands up for the boss. The mix master is live. Get ready. Don't try to take me to a disco. JP the ticket. Vegas scoreboard express. Giving you that grease. Back at you live, JP the Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express, waking you up early in the morning this Sunday, NFL Week 11. Got him on the line with me, my main man, bringing you that rock and roll, Ronnie B, Las Vegas. You know what time it is. Time to get you that big money. He's bringing you the big time dog today to put the cash in your pocket. Good morning, Ronnie. How you doing? Good morning, JB. Everything is good this morning. I know that's right. You cashed out yesterday with the Wyoming Cowboys. If you tuned into our Saturday morning college football show each and every Saturday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. right here on KSHP 107.1 FM and AM 1400. You heard Ronnie B. give you that live pick. Nobody's doing it better than us yesterday. Like I said, we went 6-1. and one. Shout out John Ryan, Predictive Sports Betting Playbook. Of course, I've still got my two other cohorts on the line with me. My main man, Scotty Beam, up Web East Coast Sports Investors, and Ron Third Down, Best Bet. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump into some of the NFL picks today. Again, these being brought to you by our friends over at Fubo TV. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. All you got to do, take out a debit card, take out one of your prepaid debit cards or whatever. I'm giving you seven days free just to get you started. You log in. You can put this thing on your phone, your Roku. You can use Bluetooth. You can... Project it to the wall, giving you free cable for seven days, people, and then an additional 15% off when you sign up. No credit check, no hassle, no deposit. You hear the ad every week. Take advantage of it, especially during the holiday season. So I want to get into this game first because it is a one o'clock game. Everything starting today in the United States. No games overseas. The NFL Europe tour is over. But if you heard me start off the show this morning, I brought in a little bit of that push it to the limit. Want to talk to you. Las Vegas Raiders 
Rotation number 463. Raiders are plus 13 and a half dogs on the road down in Miami. Rotation number 464. The Dolphins at six and three. The Raiders at five and five. One and four on the road. But again, the Raiders new head coach. Not interim to me. He's the winningest head coach we've had this year. Antonio Pierce. So I'm not really looking at the record that they had before him. I'm looking at what he's able to do now. He's willing them to wins. Again, he's a Super Bowl champion. This town has not given him enough credit. And the overall sports media has not given him enough credit. If I have to hear one more time someone say interim Raiders head coach, I'm going to say something. And you guys know when I say something, could go bad for you. But let's talk about it. Ron, third down, best bets, plus 13 and a half today. Totals 45 and a half. Do the Raiders get inside of that spread? We're not even going to get into the money line yet. I just want to know, can they keep it close? We told everybody about Aiden O'Connell a long time ago. He's working through his progressions. He's a rookie, but he's playing like a champion. Big Ten champion last year, top rookie in the preseason. Go ahead. Do the Raiders have a chance to get inside of that spread today? Not to mention the defense last weekend. Shout out Robert Spillane, that linebacker that got the interception to seal it they're winning by committee 13 and a half you think the line makers are disrespectful go ahead i think the raiders can get inside that the uh, raider defense has played really well nobody's talking about that in miami's defense they're on a milk carton i don't know who they are or what they're doing but that alone gives the raiders a chance it's going to be a game of attrition for the raiders miami's is going to keep coming at them with weapons on offense i mean they they're incredible on offense they had tons of weapons, and they pour it on. So if the Raider defense can hang in there a few drives, you know, stop them three, four drives a game, they can do it. You know, our man Aiden got to keep it going. Josh Jacobs keep pump, pumping that ball in there, and they'll be all right. Sounds yes, like a plan to me. Go ahead. I think they can keep it inside that, yes. Now, Ronnie B. here in Las Vegas again. Shout out Ronnie B. Yesterday gave you guys that exclusive pick. Wyoming was free. I know you had the other pick on the website that also hit and clicked. I'm not going to tell them what it is. They got to buy it first. Weekend, jbtheticket.com. Click Ronnie B's link. Do the Raiders get inside of the spread today? And then I'll ask you the heavy question again. Rotation number 463, the Las Vegas Raiders. Win by one, lose by none. The money line is plus 570. Do you believe enough in the Raiders defense that if they focus on double teaming Tyreek Hill, that they can stop everyone else and keep this thing close? And not to mention, if they can get to the quarterback, I think that defense has a chance to really cause some pressure for Tagovailoa. He hasn't really been hit this year. And now that the Raiders defense has confidence, has a defensive minded head coach leading them and Antonio Pierce, 13 and a half, maybe a stretch by the book, but just to go money line here at plus 570, win by one, lose by none. Do the Raiders have a chance to pull it off today? Any given Sunday. Go ahead. Well, JB, I tell you what, I don't think they have a chance for the, for the number to stay in the number, but I but I am looking at what you pu- push there, the defense, and I am going to play the under in this game myself personally. Uh, it opened up at forty eight; it's down to forty five and a half. I love it. The Raiders have oh, only price. scored more than eighteen points twice this year, and once was a late safety against the Jets. So I don't look for a lot of points in this game, even Miami. Uh, With the Raiders' defense, like you said, they're strong. They rank eighth against the pass. So that's a nice key number there for Miami to push. But as far as the the cover, I'd lean towards Miami. uh, But I'm playing the under 45 and a half. He's telling you to take the under in today's game. Now, that's an interesting take. Scotty, beam him up. Webb, I'll throw this over to you. If the Raiders are able to keep the Miami Dolphins from unloading with that scoring machine. We've seen Miami put up some big numbers. Key here that you brought up a couple of weeks back when you were on the show, the Miami Dolphins don't do well against teams with winning records. And again, this isn't the same Raiders team that they expected to see in the beginning of the season. Head coach Antonio Pierce is coming to town straight out of Compton. That's what he said. That's not what I said. Original Raider, he said. Super Bowl champion for my home city, New York with the G-Men, who are not doing too well this year. We're not going to get into that game today. But talking to you, Scotty, beam him up, Webb, can the Raiders' defense, if they're able to keep it under, maybe pull out a first-half win today? Go ahead. No, I think think 
you know, this is a perfect spot for Miami, to be honest. This is the, the, the Raiders have scored 20 points in two games this season. And, and one of the games they that, that they scored over 20 points was against the New York Giants, and we know what they are. And the other game was against the New England Patriots, and we know what they are. So they haven't scored more than 20 points in any other game this season. And where you run into the problem is, is Miami is the number one offense in all of football. So Miami's going to put up 28, 30, 35 points. So the Raiders have to try to stay within 14. And, and to be honest, with a, with a quarterback, what they have and what's going on over there, Miami's off of a bye week. I think this is a spot where Miami's going to bully this team and, you know, um, um, I, I think Miami just, just totally drowns the, the, the Raiders today. And, oh, and not, Scotty. Not, not, that <laughs> not that I don't think the Raiders are a good team. I just think this is a bad spot for the Raiders. It, it's not a good position for them. And, you know, they're off of two. Hello? Hello? Guys, you there? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Scotty, what happened? Oh man! Raider looks. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my goodness, Scotty! They cut you off, Scotty. I, I, I'm looking over at the board. I'm looking at the board, and I just hear clip, clip. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, that's what we do here live on the air. We'll bring it back up in a short commercial break. Man, I'm telling you, hey, Raider Nation, man, you guys. Somebody was working the phone line, driving down the street, like. What is that guy, Scotty, talking about? JB, you know we ain't going to go for that. Click. We'll bring him back in a short tick here. <laughs> JB, the ticket, Vegas scoreboard express. Got to love our live radio show. That wasn't a technical difficulty. It literally seemed, I, I mean, did you guys not hear that? I was like, wait a minute. Somebody call security. <laughs> Ronnie B here in Las Vegas. Any quick shout outs before I take this commercial break and get Scotty Beaming up Webb back on the line again. Raider Nation, I like you, man. I'm going to say stay with inside of the points. I'm expecting that defense. Get a pick six. All you got to do is hit Tagovailoa once. Put him out the game. Whole different ball game. I hate to promote stuff like that, but it's football. You got to wake up early in the morning here with JB the ticket against Scotty. Sorry about that. Raider Nation was gunning for you, man. They cut your signal, but we'll get you back in a short commercial break. Ronnie B, Las Vegas, your shout out. And then Ron, third down best bets yours, and I'll take this break. Go ahead. The Raiders are going to play real tight, but it's going to be a low-scoring game. He's telling you, low-scoring game. Take the under. That's where the money should be. And again, around third down, best bets. Your final pick on this game, and we'll take a break. Go ahead. I'm going with the Raiders as well. I think they're going to shock the world today. I think they're going to expose Miami's defense for what it is. And you're going to see Aiden O'Connell shine today. There you go. Giving you a lot of grease, Aiden O'Connell. I'm not going to get cut off this morning again. JB, the ticket, Vegas, Gold Board Express, the main host in the nation riding with the Raiders today. I'm telling you, take them in the points, man. Keep it close. Put some cash in your pocket. And if you're not scared, go money line. They may be the dog to get over the hump. Ron Third Down Best Bets is warning you about that Miami defense. Even though they came back off of a bye week, different Raiders team coming to town. Shout out head coach, head coach, Antonio Pierce. He's going to have these boys ready on the road. So when I get back from this commercial break more grease and then we'll get scotty beaming up web on a different line raider nation he didn't mean it we'll bring him back let's get the money you're listening to the boss of the big ball jb the ticket vegas scoreboard giving you that grease Skip your cable bill this month and join the action with JB and Fubo TV. Get seven days free, 15% off your first month. No credit check, no deposit, no installation hassle. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. Sign up, download the app, and start watching games. Enjoy being a subscriber after the first month. Easy cancellation anytime. Regional restrictions apply. Sign up at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Rise before the sun. The predators who stalk the odds. The winners who demand an edge. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. JP the Ticket. 
Listen every weekend, Saturday and Sunday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. to Vegas Scoreboard Express Live on KSHP 107.1 FM and AM 1400 as I unleash a barrage of insightful analysis, expert predictions, and winning strategies from the sharpest minds in sports betting to get your money back from the sports books. Go to jbtheticket.com and tune in to KSHP this weekend, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. to win with the Sharps. JP the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. All money, all sports, no bull. Miss the live show? Subscribe to Vegas Scoreboard Express on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, and wherever you enjoy your favorite podcast and radio listening. You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. You're listening to the boss of the big bar. If you have money, you can buy anything. JP the ticket. More fire, more heat. Vegas scoreboard express. Giving you that grief. Back on the line with you, JP the Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express. Waking you up early in the morning at BSX Digital Sports Networks. I got him back with me, my main man, Scotty Beam up Web, East Coast Sports Investors, MLBDaily.com. Good morning, Scotty. Raider Nation, they were like, we ain't trying to hear all that. It's too early in the morning for that. Cut him off, JB. We, we go cut him off. We outside, JB. We outside. But again, he's back with us. Scotty Beam him up Web, thank you so much. They're still kicking it outside. They're still kicking the antenna. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. We don't, we don't want to hear no more, uh, Scotty. No, but again, Scotty, thank you so much for coming back on. Scotty, you were going in. We didn't even get a chance to get your pick, side, or total on that particular game. But again, we were talking about it here. Our hometown, Las Vegas Raiders, rotation number 463, plus 13 and a half, plus 14, depending on where you get them. I got them over at plus 14. Our book online here supports the show, BetUS.com. Go over to BetUS.com. You can pick up 125% bonus on your initial deposit. So, again, plus 570 on the money line. I don't think you think the Raiders are barking that much as a dog. You think most likely Miami rolls today. We were hearing you say something about 28 points or something like that. Talking about that total of 46. If the Raiders get to their average and the Miami Dolphins get to their average, do you think there's some over in the totals to be had? And then we'll move to the next game. Go ahead. Yeah, I think I think that number's pretty good, to, to be honest. I mean, I, I, I think the Raiders, even though Miami is is not the greatest defense in the world, I, I think that I think the Raiders are gonna struggle to score points here just because you know the the quarterback is you know, I, I, I think I think they're trying to figure out whether they have a quarterback. Um, in, 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 uh, what's his name? O'Donnell or O'Connell or whatever. And, and I think, and I think the reality is, is that, um, they're going to find out that they don't have a quarterback in that kid. And then, and then they're going to have to try to play catch up this whole game. So, um, it just depends on how many points does Miami want to go out there and put up. If they put up 30 points, the Raiders only have to score 16 or 17. And they, they might be able to do that against this, 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 this team. So. I think there's a lot of spreads out here this week. You know, you've got you've got double digit points in, in a lot of games. This this is a good spot to to employ a ten point teaser in some of these positions. Sunday. Telling you, he likes the possibility of the over. We know he's going with the Miami Dolphins. He's staying with the state of Florida. Let's move into another game in the state of Florida today. Interesting number rotation number four fifty nine. The Tennessee Titans on the road today plus seven. Plus 253. You got to shout out the shout out where it's due. My main man, D Hop. What a career resurgence he's had. Ronnie B. Las Vegas, we'll start off with you. The Jacksonville Jaguars, though, have been quietly moving in the right direction in the AFC South. Six and three, but they're one and three at home. That worries me. And that's a straight up money line, money line that is six and three record. And a six and three record against the spread. These guys are six and three and across the board. The Tennessee Titans, however, coming in today, serious dog at plus seven. They're three and six. The season looks like 
they may have to go back to the draft. They've had a terrible couple of drafts. They picked up quarterbacks that we knew they weren't going to use. Um, this Will Levis kid, I don't know. He may get the reins. Malik Willis, he's kicking around somewhere out there. But going to the other side with, you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars, six and a half, seven. Are they ready to beat a team like that right now? Is Trevor Lawrence ready to step up? Like I said, I'm still waiting to see if he is going to be that overall number one pick that we have been looking for for the last couple of seasons, because what we've seen from him has been relatively pedestrian. He gets them the wins, losses that they shouldn't have they end up with because, you know, some of the guys he throws to. and You know how that goes. And their defense has been a little shaky. So six and a half, does Jacksonville at rotation number 460 have a chance to maybe improve to seven and three today and kind of take over that AFC South? Go ahead. Well, I'll tell you, JB, I think Jacksonville is going to probably go to the six and three or seven and three. Uh, but I think Tennessee is where I'm going to lean with the points. Uh, my reason is when you come off a game with San Francisco, which Jacksonville did, uh, the stats from last year, the teams uh, the next week just are beat up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to give Tennessee and Levis a chance here. Mm-hmm. I think this kid is uh, the real deal. He's exciting to watch. Mm-hmm. He's pumped up when he's playing. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take the seven points with Tennessee in this game. He says he's going to take the seven points going with the dog here. Scotty, beam him up. Webb, you're down in a Florida. Let's get your opinion on this. Jacksonville, are they for real, or are they still kind of tipping around, trying to sneak up on people, to secure their playoff spot, and then go all-star? Go ahead. Well, I think Jacksonville's a for real team. I just don't think that they've been getting the quality quarterback performance that you thought you were going to get this year. So so I, I think they've got enough to beat Tennessee, but I, but I like the idea of taking the points here. I don't you know, they're coming, you know, I think a lot of people come back and they go, hey, you know, they got blown out. They were embarrassed last week. You know, San Francisco, 34 to 3, I think was the number. And, and now that, and now they get to lick their wins against Tennessee. But what, what I don't think a lot of people realize is Tennessee is a very big rival for Jacksonville. They've been that way for years and they struggle playing against Tennessee. So, so it wouldn't surprise me that this is a really close competitive game. Tennessee likes to keep them that way, just to try to keep them in the games. So, so I think this is probably a lower scoring game where, where you know, you come down to a field goal at the end. Right, telling you to get to the field goals. Now let's talk about some of that quarterback play. Trevor Lawrence, let's look at the stats. 202 for 300, 2,100 yards, nine touchdowns, six picks. That's why they're six and three. On the other side of the ball, you look at the Tennessee Titans. They've got four different quarterbacks up there. Two of them have thrown something. You got Will Levis here, 60 of 107, 699 yards, four touchdowns, two picks. Ryan Tannehill, about 1,000 yards, uh, 98 for 160, 158, two touchdowns, six picks. So, like I said before, I can't go with a dog with this type of quarterback committee. I'm going to go ahead and take the Jaguars today, money line. They're a little more expensive than I would like at minus 305. I'll make them an anchor on one of my betting tickets. Moving along to another game, talking about the Chicago Bears, the return to Justin Fields, rotation number 461. Lions, Tigers, and Bears, oh my, going up against those Detroit Lions, rotation number 462. Detroit minus 8, minus 400 money line, talking about the total of under or over 48. Chicago, weird bet here. Plus eight or plus three twenty. You're talking about a dog here that's super barking. You got a touchdown and a piece of a field goal for plus three twenty. Is this another trap game for betters? Because I haven't seen anything come out of the Chicago Bears land in quite some time. They're three and seven, one and four on the road. The Detroit Lions, we told you in our preview. <laughs> NFC North, these guys are gonna be the team to beat. Seven and two right now. Their defense is clicking. Jared Goff has maintained form. Again, he hasn't really thrown too many picks. Been a very impressive team. Ronnie B. Las Vegas, Chicago Bears today. Seven and a half. Only 30% of the money is on them today. Is there any chance that Justin Fields comes in and plays a better game? Or do these guys go to the three and eight? And Detroit approves to eight and two. Go ahead. Well, 
I, I'm looking at this from um, a point of view of the scores that uh, the Lions have played. Everything they've won has almost been a double digit, except their two losses, obviously. Right. Uh, so I, I have to lean with the Lions here, especially at home. Uh, Fields coming off a bye week, practicing an injury. So I just don't think uh, the rust will be dusted off yet. And the Lions' uh, running game is just too strong, which will give golf time to open up the pass. I got to go. I got to lead the points on the on, on the Bears. He's telling you take I'm the points the on the Bears. I'm going to throw this one over to you, Ron. A third down best bets: Chicago, Justin Fields, Tyler Bajant, and then they got Nick Peterman kicking around somewhere back there, or Nate Peterman. Uh, they've got quarterback issues. Detroit, not so much. You got. Jared Goff, again, the guy's playing lights out. 14 touchdowns to five picks. Justin Fields, he's a pick monster, giving you about a 50-50 ratio here with 11 TDs to six monsters. So when you talk about quarterback play today, plus 320, plus eight, do you just stay off the Bears today and take the majority of the money and go with the 70% and take Lions? Go ahead. Yes, I would. Uh, the Bears are a dumpster fire without the Flames right now. I mean, you don't see any controversy, but there's nothing there. They got problems. I mean, Fields coming back is not going to really increase their chances of winning this game, and that's the best news they have. Yep. Detroit. Detroit's a solid, really good team, and the Cinderella shoe's been off. You no, know, people are still waiting for them to fall apart. It ain't going to happen. They're built solid on the line. Both lines are good, and their defense is really good. Yeah, stay with Detroit on all the lines. He's telling you stick with the Detroit Lions today. They'll get you paid. Rotation number 462. Scotty, beam him up, Webb, down in Tampa Bay. Hope you're still on the line because we're getting ready to jump into it right now. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What's going on with the Bucs, man? Four and five. Not bad. Okay, they've just got to win a few more. You know that's very hard to do in the NFL, but they got a huge spread today. These guys are a super dog. Heading out to the Bay Area. Rice or Roney, the San Francisco treat, 12 and a half. You're talking a two touchdown spread here. San Francisco, six and three, three and one at home. They've got a strong defense. We know that offense has been a little bit tepid. Purdy has been somewhat confusing. Again, you know, the Mr. Irrelevancy, all that stuff is worn off. Shannon Sharp in the beginning of the season called him a system quarterback, but they still have a six and three record. Give credit where credit is due. They've got your Bucks coming in today, four and five, two and two on the road. I like Baker Mayfield. I do. He plays with a lot of fire. I don't think the Browns should have ever traded him, but now he's down in Tampa Bay. What has to happen for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this game, to even make it close inside of the spread? We were talking about the Raiders not doing too well. I don't see an offensive side of the football for Tampa Bay. When they win, it's like, okay, they won. But when they lose, it's like they get six points away, three points away, which could bode well for a spread play today, but they just can't get over the hump. Now, they're priced about right, 13 and a half plus 550. Go ahead, Scotty. Well, Tampa Bay has been hanging in games a lot. Their defense has been playing pretty well. And Baker Mayfield is uh, played better than what most people probably thought that he was going to. I mean, if you if you start to look at, you know, at the beginning of the year and you go, hey, well, in the state of Florida, well, how would you rent the quarterback? You, you know, you would have Baker Mayfield behind Trevor Lawrence and behind, you know, Tua. And, and the reality is he's just as good as, as what Trevor Lawrence has been playing, if not better. So no. so he's he's been a big catalyst for them. But their problem is is that they don't really have big play capability, and they rely a lot on turnovers, you know, penalties that, you know, pass interference calls, things like that to, to help them move the football. And they're going to need they're going to need a lot of things to go well against San Francisco. And San Francisco, you know, statistically and handicapping wise in the world we live in, they're, they're the best team in football. So. So if you're, if you're going to take Tampa Bay and run them out there in San Francisco and go, Hey, you know, what are you guys going to do? I, I think, I think San Francisco wake, woke up last week a little bit, said, okay, we were a three game losing streak is now gone. Now we're going to put together a bunch of wins. And I think that that's going to be a, a follow suit here. And, you know, they beat Jacksonville pretty good. I think they're going to beat Tampa Bay pretty good too. He's telling you Tampa Bay. 
could be in trouble on the road. Again, you guys are my cohorts with me. Thank you so much for being on the big board today. We're going to take a short commercial break, guys. Got about seven minutes left. Getting ready to get out of here. Again, Ronnie B, JBTheTicket.com, Chief Handicapper. We're going to be dropping picks today on Capper Tech. You definitely want to follow Vegas Scoreboard Express on Capper Tech. We give out free picks. You listen to the show. You can win. You can get involved with what we do. Follow us on Instagram at JB the Ticket. Ron, third down best bets, Raider Hawk one. Ronnie B. Las Vegas, you just got to go to the website. He's old school, man. He's like, look, I'm not doing all that social mo show. Got to send me some money. And then, of course, Scotty Beam him up web from the East Hill Sports Investors and MLB daily.com want to give a shout out to my main man pop dibiase and jeff dawson prime wave media group east coast sports investors of course john ryan predictive sports betting playbook all you guys out there listening to me my main man joe tasby jr Ado in the building they always take a listen to the show each and every weekend and uh we're gonna get back in a short commercial break guys so anybody want to do a quick shout out scotty bemo up web anybody go ahead and then we'll get back to the grease after the break go ahead yeah, I'm going to shout out to my wife probably nearly enough. So I want to make sure I give her a good shout out. She's been putting up with me being home and all the stuff that I've had to go through. So I, I really appreciate it. There you go. Shout out to Scotty Beam him up web wife. You keeping him healthy, bringing him back to the show. We need him healthy. He's got the grease. He's got the picks. So thank you so much, Mrs. Webb, for what you're doing for the show. And again, when I get back from this short commercial break, guys, we'll lock it load, get the final picks of the day to put cash in your pocket. Let's get ready and get the money. Keep listening. You're listening to the boss of the big ball, J.P. the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grease. In times of war and peace, the men and women of our military dedicate themselves to serving our country. We salute those who have given their lives for our country. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. This salute is courtesy of Mac and Grill Cheese Factory, serving our area with quality and pride. For a fantastic meal, stop by 1331 West Warm Springs Road in Henderson or call them at 725-214-4140. That's 725-214-4140. Mac and Grill Cheese Factory, on the air, reminding everyone that we live in the land of the free thanks to our brave basketball season is heating up so stay in the game with fubo tv get the nba ncaa fiba and more get seven days free at vegas scoreboard express.com don't get cabled get fubo tv JB the Ticket Vegas School Board Express. I'm back at you live here. KSHB AM 1400. Got my main men on the line with me. Scotty Beam him up. Web East Coast Sports Investors. MLB Daily.com. And I've got Ron Third Down Best Bets co host, BSX Digital Sports Contributor. And of course, my other handicapper, Ronnie B. Las Vegas Chief Capper for JB the Ticket.com. So again, thank you guys so much for being back on the line. Let's go ahead and jump into the final picks of the day. Again, if you guys are listening out there, you're going to want to stay tuned for my main man, Ralph Sirocco. He's got race day coming up. If you're into betting the ponies, that's who you're going to want to stick and stay with because he gives you the grease each and every day Give of the week that for grease. all you pony bettors out there. So that's how you do it. Let's get into our final pick of the day, guys. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Again, this game being brought to you by our friends over at Fubo TV. Sign up for it. Rotation number 475. This is the evening game tonight on Monday Night Football. We're giving you that early Monday Night Football grease here. Philadelphia at Kansas City. 475 plus two and a half. It's an early ticket. Rotation number 476 for the Kansas City Chiefs. They've got Kelsey out there. They may have a little bit of the pop star magic. 7-2 versus 8-1 rematch of last year's big time game, the big game. Who do you see pulling this one out? I'll throw this one over at you. Ronnie B. Las Vegas, make your final pick and then give your best pick for today on Sunday. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to take the uh, Philadelphia Eagles tomorrow night with the points. I'm going to do the revenge factor off the Super Bowl. And I think both lines are stronger than KC's. So I'm going with the Eagles tomorrow. He's telling today, you. My best bet. Yep, go ahead. My, today, best bet. We're going to change it up a little bit and do a two-team teaser for you. We're going to take the Dallas Cowboys. 
and the Buffalo Bills. We're going to tease them together and bring you another winner. He's telling you take those Cowboys and the Bills to put cash in your pocket to Game Teaser. Again, thank you so much, Ronnie B. Ron, third down, best bets. Got about 30 seconds. Who do you like in that Philadelphia game? Again, rotation number 475, the Philadelphia Eagles, plus two and a half on the spread. Even money, money line going out to Kansas City. Rotation number 476, minus two and a half. Totals 45 and a half. It dropped down from 48. Who do you see winning? 30 seconds. Go ahead. I like the Eagles. It's a simple thing. They don't have a distraction. I will not mention her name, but they do not have a distraction that Kansas City has, and they play football. (laughs) That's what they do. They play football. Talking about those Eagles. We love it. We're Eagles heavy here. There you go. My pick of the day is 49ers over the Buccaneers. He likes the 49ers over the Buccaneers for his pick of the day. And then my main man, Scotty, beam him up web. East Coast Sports Investors, MLBDaily.com. Again, thank you guys all for your contributions. You got about a minute here. Who's your best pick out of Monday Night Football? Rotation number 475, Philadelphia, plus two and a half. Do you like a money line? you like them to cover the spread? I know a lot of people are fading the Kansas City Chiefs, but it's about even now. Kansas City with a slight betting advantage with the money, 55% to 45% for Philadelphia. But rotation number 476, does Kansas City keep rolling? Or do these guys double-team Kelsey and try to bring some embarrassment up to the pop star? Go ahead. Well, I'm going to go opposite what everybody else has done so far. I'm, I'm going to take the Chiefs minus the two and a half. Anything under under three, I think it's going to be okay here. I, I like I like the idea that they're going to play at home. I think the NFL is one of those leagues where, you know, it is game to game, week to week. So I don't know that there's going to be a whole lot of, um, you know, motivation because it was the, the, the Super Bowl last year and, and trying to have Philadelphia. You know, Philadelphia's got Buffalo next and San Francisco and Dallas. So they got a lot of big games coming up too so I don't think this is anything special for this especially in the middle of the season like this so so I like I like Kansas City here in this game and then for, for a best bet today I think you can take the Rams and the Seattle Seahawks over the numbers so I take them over telling you take the Rams and the Seahawks over the number again guys thank you so much for stopping by the big board today had my cohorts with me Ron a third down best bets follow him on Raider Hawk one on Instagram. Follow my main man, Scotty Beam him up web on the X or the bird at Webby 20 MLB. And of course, Ronnie B, go to jbthetic.com, pick up his daily picks back. I just want to give a shout out to my main man, Troy West. Yesterday, he gave you a college football pick to put cash in your pocket, told you to take those Wisconsin Badgers, and they were able to cash out for you. Again, thank you so much for Troy West. Go to troywins.com, troywins.com. His $25 special is sure to put cash in your pocket. So, guys, any final shout-outs? Got about 30 seconds, and then we're going to slide on out of here and get over to that sports book and put some cash in our pockets. Go ahead. And I'll start with you, Ron B., Las Vegas. We're going to go to the Marriott and have a good time today and win some money. There you Follow go. us on JB the Ticket. There you go. You know what time it is, jbtheticket.com. Ronnie B., got to get those picks. Ron, third down, best bets, final shout-out of the day. Go ahead. Talking about the Eagles, Hard Rock Hamilton. Let's not forget about him. we got his documentary coming up, everybody. Let's get into it and hear this man's story. That's right. Also, Philadelphia's finest, Naeem the Dream, here in Las Vegas. One of my best listeners. Appreciate you supporting the show. And, of course, Scotty Beam Up Web, your final shout-out of the day. And then we're going to go ahead and rock out with some of this slide with the band Slave here. Vegas Scoreboard Express giving you the grease, waking you up each and every Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Go ahead, Scotty. Then I'm going to roll on out. Well, with me working, uh, coming in on Sundays, uh, this will be the, uh, I won't be able to say, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Make sure, make sure everybody has a great, great Thanksgiving Day feast. Enjoy your families, watch the games, and make some money, and uh, get ready for Christmas, would you? That's right. Get ready for Christmas. Put those decorations out, but most importantly, grab your bankroll, hit the window, slide over to the sports book, and get the money. You guys stay tuned here. 107.1 FM, AM 1400, KSHP. My main man, Ralph Sirocco, is bringing you the horses. Race day is coming up next. Vegas Scoreboard Express. We're getting money. Let's get out of here. You're listening to the boss of the big four. JP the Ticket. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Giving you that grease.